Hi, this is Miss Rossi. We've already discussed all about mammals and different diversity of life that's existed throughout history and all of the evidence in the fossil record. Now, let's jump into the skeletal diversity. To begin, let's start with brainstorming to activate your prior knowledge. You may have these brainstorming questions and all of these questions on paper or electronically on Cami. The analyzing section has you look at student sheet 6.5 to help answer the questions. They're just asking questions about what you see in these pictures and they are not drawn to scale. Notice we have a cat and a whale and a bat. Clearly these are not to scale. Your paper wasn't big enough. Then for researching, you will read Change Over Time in the Structure and Function textbook. This is the textbook we use in seventh grade. When you are going to take a closer look, you will need your skeletal similarity sheet and some colored pencils. Let's look at the locations of bones in the human arms, as well as the function of the different groups of bones. We have a color coded chart and we are going to color each group of bones in the human arm with a correct color. So red will be humerus. Yellow, the radius. Green, the ulna. Purple, the carpal. Orange, the metacarpals. and blue, the phalanges. Now, re-examine the bones in the limbs of the other animals. So think about the images to determine which bones are similar to the human bones, and then color the corresponding bones with the same color. So in the cat, which is the humerus in the cat? the humerus in the whale, which is the phalanges in the cat, and continue to analyze the bones and color them until the whole sheet is color-coded with the same coloring scheme. Then complete the synthesizing page about all the patterns and the evidence you see, consider different animals, so complete all of the questions.